What is going on guys? Welcome to Brigade. Today's video we're going to talk about a sharp pain in the elbow which is also called elbow or tricep tendonitis. So, so I was about to make this video here. Today I woke up and thought, hey, let's do a thousand burpees. And all of a sudden at rep 170 I felt a sharp pain in my elbow here. It's very local and it only hurts when I go through the range of motion of a push-up. Also only hurts when I put pressure on it. Okay, so what are we talking about? We are talking about an inflammation of the tendon. First things first, I have to say this guys, if your doctor says that it's a rupture, that it's something severe, please take his advice, uh, don't take mine but I can just give you some guidance. To make this video a little bit more structured, we're going to talk about how it feels like, what you can do if you have it, how you can train with tendonitis, and also how to prevent it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, the first thing, how does the pain feel? So for me now, in this video, we're talking about the elbow, but it could be on any other tendon. So when you're doing burpees, you go down and you do a push-up. And by doing that push-up, I felt a very sharp pain, very locally here. So that happened on rep 170. And from there on, every rep I did, I felt a very sharp pain. Now it only feels painful if I really push very hard on that tendon. Now, that is something that's a local inflammation of the tendon. So the tendon is a connective tissue that connects the bone. So this is the bone to the muscle, so the tricep muscle we are talking about here. Now, if that happens, what do we want to do? Well, resting is a good thing to do, but not more than two days. Uh, why is that? Well, I had this problem before when I was doing chicken muscle ups where I was pushing over the bar with one arm. When you're doing chicken muscle ups, the weakest point in, hold, in this whole chain will suffer, right? and that happened to be the tendon and the tendon are usually the ones that are going to get hurt in these situations. What do we want to do is we want to rest and put ice on the area here so the inflammation lessens but then because your blood rushes through you got an increased blood flow as well. You want to rest out so the muscle gets some or the tendon gets some time to heal but at the same time, and this is anecdotally, I went to the doctor for this uh, a couple of years ago and the doctor said, yeah, go rest for a month and then you'll be good to go. So I rested for a month and then I started again and it was like this, boom, the pain was there. I felt no pain during that month of rest and then when I started again, the pain was there like it never disappeared. So why is that? Well, as the tendon heals, scar tissue is going to form and the scar tissue is going to be all over the place. And because of that, uh, and because of it's not being used as you would normally, it doesn't get stretched, the tissue doesn't get soft, and it starts to hurt very much. Then when you start training again, the inflammation pops up again and the whole cycle repeats itself. So that's why I say take two days of rest and then go to active recovery. I don't want you to stop training, I want you to start train around it. Okay, so if we're talking about active recovery, uh, what we mean is that we want to go through range of motions where this tissue keeps on moving, keeps on getting blood flow, but we also want to massage it. So if you go to a physical therapist, the first thing that they will do is massage this tissue here so that everything becomes nice and loose again and you have the and so that you get back to the elasticity that that tissue normally has and by doing so you increase the range of motion again or get it back to a good moving position and then uh, the tissue will heal much better so a way to do this yourself is and this is one of the best things that I found is with a barbell the Olympic barbells have a spinning sleeve and I find this great because you can put it on a good height and then you can start rolling your triceps. So typically you want to go where it hurts. You don't want to push too hard on where it hurts. It's better to stay on that spot and to slowly move around. Right? You don't want to be aggressive and like go in and 
Oh, shit. No, you just want to gently push. You make move the tissue a little bit, right? And move it slowly. You don't want to go too hard on it. Uh, Kelly Starrett calls it the smash, but also he doesn't recommend going balls to the wall with it. Just move. Go very slowly, right? You can do the tendon itself, but I would also recommend doing the tricep because if the tricep is tight, it will pull harder on the tendon. So that way you also get uh, the tricep, you also get the tricep to loosen up. So we go very slowly like this, all right? And if it hurts on the, elbow for example what you also want to do which you always want to do is you go and look up the chain where the tricep is but also down it's down the chain maybe your forearms are tight or maybe something here is not working so you can always do that as well while you're at it All right so you roll your forearms out so really massage this whole area and when I was at school and I had this problem, what I was doing when there was a lecture, I was just sitting there massaging like this, just going with your thumb and you're, you can continue to look at the teacher and just be like, all right, just rubbing my elbow. <laughs> now, obviously not everybody has a barbell, but maybe you have a foam roller like this or a bottle of water that is completely around and also that you can use on the table. And then after that, you don't want to stop training. And that's, that ties in and how should I train with tendonitis? Well, you should continue training like you did before. The only thing that you should know is that if you feel that stinging pain, you should stop the exercise and do something that doesn't aggravate it, right? That is the key. You don't want to have that stinging, uh, painful experience. You want the tissue to heal and you want it to go through the range of motion, but you don't want to put stress on it. So a great example for this is if you did push-ups and push-ups started to hurt, what you can continue to do is to do tricep extensions with a rubber band, a small rubber band, or if you have a cable pulley, with a cable pulley, and just go through the range of motion, actively use that muscle, but don't hurt it. And then you will still continue to increase that elasticity to increase that blood flow without uh, the tissue being hurt again. If there are exercises that hurt it, stop them. But if you can do variations of them that won't hurt, then you're good to go. For example, if that push-up hurts, but a incline push-up doesn't hurt, well do incline push-ups. Focus on that technique, get that better. So. Uh, there are a million ways to work around injuries. You just have to be smart and don't push through it. Guys, this is not a war zone. This is just normal life here. Everything is chill. We don't need to push hard, go through, go balls through the wall through an injury. If it's a life or death situation, I understand. Go through the pain, no pain, no gain, go all out. But if you're just working out, if you're just doing it to feel good, to get stronger and healthier, you don't want to risk an injury because it's going to set you back a lot longer than it did if you just pushed it through. So take my advice, guys. Be smart with injuries, especially if they give a, such a nice example. If they, if they warn you up front, take that warning, work around it, be smart about it, and then you get much faster back to your exercises as you did before. Another thing, how to prevent it. Everybody has to train at home now, so everybody's doing a ton of volume, doing a ton of push-ups, doing a ton of the same exercise patterns, and that is really what hurts it if you have the same pattern that repeats itself. So, for example, last week I already did like 300 push-ups, and then I did burpees, also 200. That puts a lot of stress and it's the same mechanical movement for that muscle. So you want to switch things up, get enough variety. If you have 
horizontal push, switch it up with a vertical push. It's everything, guys. Take the complete package and switch things up. Um, so that is my two cents, guys. Uh, I hope you like this video. So very quick recap. If you feel a sharp pain, it's probably something like tendonitis or a warning that something bad is about to happen with this tendon. So rest for two days, ice it, and then start to slowly build up the exercises. If you're doing an exercise, make sure that it doesn't hurt at all. So work around it, find variations that don't hurt. Uh, for example, if a dip hurts, do push-ups. If push-ups hurt, do incline push-ups. Doesn't matter, make sure you stay safe. And in order to prevent this injury, which is sometimes very difficult, switch things up. Don't get in too much repetitive motions. Go and change your game a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's all. that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. And let me know in the comments down below how you are doing. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace!